money is not evil. Sit with that for a second. Does that feel uncomfortable? Say it with me. Money is not evil. Mm. If that doesn't feel uncomfortable to you, and if you're like, fucking right, brother. Cool. Congratulations. Love it. If that feels uncomfortable, I'm with you. So I'm not necessarily one of these people have, who've had the opinion, the belief that money is the root of all evil and that whole thing. However, I have had some resistance regarding money. Like, why do you need money? Money isn't, like material gain isn't the, the, the meaning of life and, and all that. And, and I think that is, that's where I've been coming from in some previous videos. I actually don't recall if I specifically said out loud, like, you know, don't, don't worry about money. Um, like to a certain extent, yes. Like if you, if you want a thing that's going to cost a certain amount of money, like manifest the thing, don't buy it, don't manifest the money for sure. But having money, wanting money, earning money, these are not bad things. There's a lot of talk of greed lately and in the past few years. And I think people equate greed with money, like the two are one and inseparable. No. You are not greedy for wanting money. You are not greedy for making money. You are not greedy for having money. What is greed? But resistance. If you are never satisfied with what you have, and just quick reminder, greed can associate to, to anything, not just money. Like let's say that... Uh, you have some apples and you want more apples and your, your lust for apples will never be satiated. It's still greed. Greed comes from a feeling of lack. So money, and I'm sure you've heard this one before, money is energy, right? We really, we really have to remember that none of this, none of what we're seeing in our physical reality, in the illusion, is accidental. None of it is a mistake. We have chosen it. Why have we chosen to live in a world ruled by money at this time? And why have we chosen to live in a world where money is largely no longer connected to physical value, right? This is what I've talked about in the past and this is what you'll see probably a lot of people say that like money isn't real it's not it's zeros and ones it's digital it's it's nonsense it's the promise of value right but don't worry about that why have we chosen to live in this era where money is so important it's not something to be resisted something to fight with remember resistance is the manifestation killer whether you you push against something or whether you desperately want something is the same. It has the same effect. Like I said in my last video, it increases the time and distance between you and your desire. So it is not wrong to want money. Money is energy. Energy is good. In fact, energy is indifferent. Energy is nothing. It's, it's not... It's not nothing. It is. Energy exists. But like what you do with it makes it good or bad. So if you are someone who believes that having money is evil or you need to be evil, you need to do bad things in order to get money, then block. You're not going to get money because you don't want to be evil, right? You don't want to be a bad person. But money is energy. It's a tool. If I grab this coffee cup and beat you to death with it, <laughs> is the coffee cup evil? What if I take this coffee cup and give you a nice, delicious 
cup of espresso. Is a coffee cup good? No. It's what I've done with it. It's an object, it's a tool, it's energy. It's a means to an end, just like money is a means to an end. So what is your end? If you had money, what would you do with it? Would you do bad things? Or would you use it to spread positivity, love, to share it, to be generous? I believe that the more generous you are, the more money will come back around. Why? Not because the universe is polarized between like good and evil and God's going to look down at you and go, oh, well, you've done a nice thing, so let's reward you. No. Remember, we made this world. We're the only ones judging ourselves. So maybe if you believe that to be the case, that'll happen. But what I believe is happening, really, is that when you are generous with your money, when you give it away, you're signaling to your subconscious, the universe, whatever, that money is not a problem to you. You are not living in lack. If you are stingy, if you're greedy, if you hold on to your money, if you hoard it, it's like, you know, there's no more coming in. So that'll start to happen. But if you're generous, it's just like we talked about last time. There's no emotional charge there. You're indifferent, right? It's like whatever, it's money. It's energy. You already have it within you. It's just externalized, right? Everything comes down to the same principles. When you live in lack, when you feel that you lack, it will be mirrored in your physical reality. Okay, so. <laughs> Let's play around with this. What happens? Like, let's 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 pretend. Let's pretend you you win the lottery. What are you gonna do with it? Ooh, exciting possibilities. Because isn't that what money is really? It's freedom. It's possibilities. It's options. <laughs> this is what I want you to think about. Like, if if at the at the start, when we said. Money is not evil. If you felt some resistance there, this is what, what I want you to play around with. Think about what you would do with money. Because I think a lot of people, I mean, there's a couple ways you can, you can get at this. I think a lot of people believe that the rich have done bad things to get their money or that having lots of money makes you a bad person. I think there's a very strong belief in society at the moment around that. But there's also the distance, you know, they see, they see wealthy people, rich people, and of course they're going to behave differently. How could they not? Right? If you had like functionally unlimited wealth and there were no restrictions in the material world for you, wouldn't you behave a little bit differently? I'm not suggesting that you would go insane and like splurge and just buy everything, but I mean, you could, and you know that you could. So you're probably gonna behave a little bit differently. I know we hear a lot about like uh, Hollywood actors that still, you know, drive an old car and live in a regular home. Yeah, cool. I have a hard time believing that every aspect of their life is that mon mundane. Money changes your life. So what are you going to do with it? 
how are you going to let it change your life? If you're still feeling resistance here, maybe just change the word. It's not money, it's abundance. That's a common word to use with manifestation. Let's think of it like just like energy, you know? Let's say your friend's having a hard time and they need you, right? If you're tapped out, if you've had a rough week, it's going to be difficult to be generous. It's going to be difficult to appear like a good friend, like a good person and be there for them because you are in lack. Your energy is dwindled or so you feel. But if you're feeling energized and like you're, you're, you're bursting with energy and you've got energy to spare and you just want to be generous with it and give it out to everyone, give love to everyone, then you're going to help that friend. You're going to help that friend and then you go, all right, who's next? <laughs> Line up, let's go. I'm a firm believer that the more you have, the more generous you will be. I've seen this, I've felt this. So when people, when people have, but they're like stingy, it's still lack. And that's their lesson to learn, you know? Anyway, money is not evil. It's what we do with it that makes it good or bad. As always, take what resonates and discard the rest.